piles of books. So you already know um, that law school is a lot of reading. It's, there's no textbook. It's a reading of case books. So these are piles of actual books. Some of these are kind of 2L books, but even your 1L year, you will have stacks of books that look like this. And this is a first year assignment I pulled off the web from NYU Law School, it's property. Katrina Wyman, who's a great professor of environmental law mainly, uh, but she teaches property. So you get a syllabus before you even start class and you're told to do reading before you start class and you'll be called on from minute one in class when you get there. So here, it's not a typical read. Uh, pages one to 42, the case book and this article, please come prepared to discuss the material. Uh, this is not a typical, so let's do a little math because that's totally why you're headed to law school. 42 pages is not atypical. Let's even say that it's less than that for, uh, in terms of the preparation that you'll engage in for a single class. So let's even say it's 25. You have three to four classes per semester. Let's just say that it's four and you meet two to three times weekly depending on the class and depending on the hours. So do this math, 25 pages times uh, four classes times uh, two and a half, let's, let's just average uh, meetings per week means that you've got to read 250 pages a week. Um, for some, it may sound like a lot, especially if you weren't kind of in the humanities or social sciences. For those of you who were in the social sciences, maybe it's a little, maybe you had to read a giant book a week and you did way more than 250 pages. Uh, this is a different kind of reading. Um, what is, at least in theory, expected is a slow, careful, detailed reading of these cases. And some professors will urge you to keep reading these cases over and over again until you get them. Thanks for tuning into the show. Please subscribe if you haven't done so already to be notified of new episodes as I release them. And feel free to reach out if you need anything at all as you move forward with your prep. I'm happy to help however I can. In the meantime, I wish you all the best and take care.